Hey folks, what is up? This is Blue. So this is a quick video real quick. I just kind of wanted to show off uh, what I've been working on over the past week or so now. As I realize I haven't been putting up videos lately. That part of that was because I uh, had recently gone on a small hiatus just to kind of get away for a bit. But the other reason was because I was working on this thing. Um, this is a little program I made to kind of increase production value slightly. Um, for people that are running tournament streams, not even just for Guild Wars, really for any game, uh, through OBS, and instead of doing the usual way of kind of, that I found at least, to edit overlays in OBS, which I found can be rather awkward to kind of show you on the video feed here really quickly, so the normal way you would expect someone to do it is you would have to open up the text file like I do now, and then just manually type in the team name, which obviously, again, does not look too good. Um, so over the past week, I made this little program in Java that essentially kind of automates that whole process for you, and it works off of, as you can see now through the uh, Windows Explorer file in the middle of the screen here, um, it works off of how OBS titles can be tied to .txt files. And essentially what this program does is wherever you have the jar file at, it'll create uh, up to five text files for uh, scores, team names, and a flash, which I'll explain what that is in a second. Um, but that I've kind of showed you that I can get rid of this Explorer window very quickly and just focus on the main program. So as you take a look here, uh, I've called it Simple Scoreboard because that's pretty much what it is. It's a simple scoreboard. Uh, it's, like I said, pretty basic. You just open it up and wherever you have it, I would obviously prefer uh, setting it up in its own folder so that when you do... Uh, when you do actually, you know, set up your text files for this, um, they're all in the same spot, and you can easily find them when setting it up in OBS really quickly. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Like, for instance, you look over here, it's separated by red and blue like I have on my overlays itself. Um, and if you want to change the team name, just go to the red or blue team name thing. You can type in, like, for instance, we'll put over here Team Mist, one of the teams we see pretty often in the Guild Wars scene. And like I said, this could apply for any game, too. It really, it's only attached to text files in OBS, so it's not really limiting per fonts or anything like that. You can edit all that still within OBS and have that still stick. Um, but anyway, you just type in the team name, hit enter, and it'll automatically change that. Same thing for blue. We'll put, uh, let's see, 55 HP monks in here. And, and the same thing, enter, and it'll just automatically change it all at once. And you can do this uh, from a separate screen, too. So, for instance, if I uh, go over to my webcam screen here really quickly, you guys can see me. Hey, what's up? Um, and I can change it all in here. So we'll change the red team to Team Misty Mist. Hit enter there. And again, you can't actually see that on the screen at the moment. But if we head back into the game camera again, you can see that, oh, look, all of a sudden it's Team Misty Mist. So instead of, again, while you're on a break, having to awkwardly switch back to the game cameras, change the team names to whatever you were going to have playing next, you can actually do that while you're off the camera and have a nice smooth transition without having to worry about any kind of awkward delay or anything like that. And it'll also work for scores. As you can see, there's plus one and minus one buttons. So I can change up the score. And as you can see, it's updating on the overlay here right now. Just got to click the plus or minus and it'll edit those scores. So I'll go up to here and you know so on and so forth and go up and uh, really any number uh, <laughs> I don't know why you need set scores this high but you can bring it up that high and uh, yeah it's a pretty cool thing um, and then the last feature that I added recently into the version 1.3 of this um, I'm gonna be looking at some other stuff too based on requests and whatnot this is just kind of things that I thought of might be useful here is uh, I've added the ability to flash um, a this is this team's match point game uh, or this is this team's match point game in there for either red or blue. So as you can see here, it's currently on the red side team, Misty Mist. And this has to all be set up in OBS, by the way, ahead of time. But um, you can hit this button and it'll flash it on the screen there really quick. It'll say match point for whatever the red team is that you have typed in there at that time. And same for the blue team. I can also flash that for five seconds. Match point for this blue team. And it'll just show up there and go away five seconds later, automatically editing the text file. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show that off really quickly. Um, I'm going to put a download link down below if any of you want to download or check it out. Um, this is something that a lot a lot of people have like whispered me about like, hey, like, how do you multitask so easily in OBS? And before, instead of like, you know, having, having to say, well, you got to do all this stuff all at once. I, uh, I decided to make this little program, which has actually smooth down that process by quite a bit. It does take a couple minutes to set up all the text files and sync them up to your scene uh, with the scoreboard, but once that's done, like I said, it's all completely automated by the program. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if there's anything you would like to see added to this program, and I guess I could uh, keep some videos updated too uh, as I continue to update the program, just kind of show off a little bit more. But that's about it, guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead and give it a download down below and let me know what you think of the program, and uh, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.